Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. Episode of BBW that's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast, man. Got my man Angry Principal in the building. What's up? Got my man Bo holding it down. I oh, sure. And of course, it's your boy Q is holding it down live from the 48205, man. You know, that's from the red zone. Uh, we back with another uh, episode today. Something brand new for everybody. So I'm really excited to uh to see what this is about to be about. All right, it's called a uh, Four Spirits Distillery, right? So Bo found this, and obviously I know it. With his armed forces uh, background, I think the, the dog tag probably caught his eye. Very interesting uh, bottle, very interesting story. I'll let Bo give you a little more information about like how we found it and like some more information you found out about it. So, Bo, what's your say? Yeah, I just thought one day, just kind of looking around, you know, browsing for bourbon, I guess, right? Making that t-shirt browsing. Browsing for bourbon. <laughs> hey, I might have to cut that part out. I might have to cut that part out. <laughs> I yeah, I was just looking around and, you know, yeah, like you said, obviously the, the dog tag caught my eye. You know, so I picked it up and, and, you know, immediately I saw 80 proof. So I almost set it back down, you know what I mean? Because of the proof. proof. I know you guys are proof. Uh, so I need a little something higher than that. But then I looked at it again, you know, and then, then I was like, let me check it out. I've never, never seen it, never heard of it, never had it, you know. And then I uh, did a little research. Um, it's actually like, uh, uh, you know, he made it in honor to do the the the, the, uh, the owner. You know, he made it in honor of uh, four soldiers that died in Iraq. You know, hence four spirits. Yep. But also, he made it in honor of uh, the the Army MOS 19 Delta. Was you know, was but it's a Cav Scout. So that's cool to me because I was 19 Alpha when I was in the Army. You know, so you know, uh, I was in charge of some 19 Delta. So uh, yeah, dope story. Everything around it, you know, they're helping out veterans, you know, they're going through problems and whatnot. So I just hope it tastes good. <laughs> Bottom line, I just hope that it tastes good. It tastes good. Yeah, I'm a little excited to see what's going on. So uh Anchor Principal, I'll let you uh, go ahead and hit the court and see what it's what it's going for. So now, first of all, I want you to recognize the hook in there. It's like like an old wine mm-hmm. jug. So I'm excited about that already. Let's see all right, pause the report. Hey, hey, okay. 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 hey, that was a good court. <laughs> yeah. That was a good court. Now they also have a uh, rum collection, gin and vodka. Yeah, yeah. Rum, gin and vodka. So, so you know how we were talking about, you know, if you start up a distillery, you got to use your gin and vodka to get you through before you get your whiskey and your rum out. So, right. so they covered everything. Let's see what we got here. We got high hopes. Got high hopes, yes. Ooh, it smells sweet. Yeah, very sweet. It smells very sweet. Uh-oh. Like, like, <laughs> fruit, sweet. like fruit. Oh, sweet, man. man. Oh. It sure does. Man. Yeah, yeah, hell is man. Yeah. Woo. All right, let's see. Let's... Mm. Let's I smell the vanilla, but I don't taste it. Almost tastes like kind of a, like a... It tastes like a like yeah, like strawberry like, liquor. Yeah, I'd say like some kind of gummy. Yeah, like strawberry yeah. liquor. Yeah. It's it's absolutely eighty proof. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely eighty proof. Yeah, eighty proof. But I'm gonna tell you off top. So I wouldn't drink it neat. Like I, I would use it to you know for some type of cocktail, or something like that. Something. Yeah, you know, flavor. Yeah, I. I, I don't so is, it, is it strawberry or cherry? One of the two. But it's t- some type of berry. It definitely <laughs> tastes like <laughs> Twisters <laughs> or or some uh, it's sweet. gummies. It, it's it's sweet. sweet, and it, and it doesn't. It's not a surprise to sweet either because you smell it right off the. Oh yeah, yeah. The minute you yeah, it hits you, you that nose. Oh mm-hmm. man, the aroma is. I smell a little vanilla, like you said, but I don't taste it. Don't taste it. Yeah, taste it. Yeah. It tastes like it's two years old. Yeah. Oh, it tastes young. Yeah, it tastes young. Yeah, you get a headache after this. 
Yeah, this is definitely I knew something. Say that. One of those headaches. It's definitely yeah. something you gotta you, you gotta use to flavor and mix in to yeah, that mix, cocktail. Mix, mix, mix. I'm not pretty yeah. straight. Mm-hmm. And, um, and it's surprisingly though, even though it is kind of a, I guess I'll call it a candy sweetness. It's not. It's not bad. So like, it's a good taste, but obviously a good taste to to make the flavor into something else. Right. Yeah, right. So right. Yeah. Right. Not not a flavor to be by itself, and and, uh, and surprisingly, it, it left me with a, with a decent little hug, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's, really, it's, a, it's a little charm back in, yeah. which you which is surprising for all of the sweetness. Right, right, so, yeah, right. I get that. It's kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like, like Bro Brothers with a with some char on the back end. <laughs> I can see that analogy. Yeah, yeah. That. it's kind of like that. So I, I don't think it doesn't matter if summer or winter winter for this one. Especially if you mix it in something, mix it in. right? You know, if you drop in some tea or coffee or something like that. That would yeah. definitely work. But uh, you mix it into whatever punch you got for the summer. Yeah, that's a good way to go for sure. So it's a, it's a mixer. Is what it's a mix. It's a mixer. <laughs> it's, it's definitely a mixer. A mixer right? It's a mixer. All right. So what we gonna do real quick? That we'll uh, sip a little bit more. But we're gonna go to commercial break. And when we get back, we're going to give it our rating. So that's a one to five black power fist, man. We'll be right back after this. Make sure that you do check out the website. Everybody <laughs> loves BBW.com, dog. We'll be right back after this. Visit the website right now, www.everybodylovesbbw. That's beers, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey <laughs> Podcast, man. Everybody loves BBW, of course. That's Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey <laughs> Podcast. We're back in the building with Angry Prince Boy Bo and your boy Q Lewis, man. Holding it down live for the 4205, man. All right, so we already gave our preliminary analysis. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Right, already, right? So now we're going to go around the block and get our uh, our ratings to see what we got. So let's start with <laughs> no, we keep it as relevant. <laughs> Angry principal, what's your rating? Bro? So when, when, I, when I took the draw of the cigar, that's when I take the char on the back. So right. cigar definitely brings out the flavors in this. For sure. Uh, because as a mixer, mm-hmm. understand I'm not drinking it straight. Right. As a mixer, I'm gonna give this a 2.5. Okay. Uh, because I think if you want to flavor something, if you want to make sure it has that bourbon flavor to it, yeah. this is a good one to go with. Uh, like I said, if you want to mix it in the winter or in the summer with whatever, this is the way to go. Uh, decent on the taste. Nice little hug at the end, even though it's only 80 proof. Right. Gotcha. All right. But what you say, <laughs> I damn near bit the cigar in half. <laughs> right. Um, I agree with damn near everything Angry Principal said. You know, uh, I also give it about two point five. But like you said, as a mixer, you know, it's not something that I would I would drink neat, drink straight, and thing like that. Um, got that that candy sweetness to it, the the, the the taste. You know, it's got a little a bit of the vanilla aroma. I didn't really taste the vanilla, you know. Right. Um, but it did leave me with a decent hug at the end. So I like a little bit of char. Um, so yeah, I, you know, honestly, I would keep this bottle around. I may even buy you know one or two more, you know, because the story is dope, and then you know I want to support bro, right? Right. Um, you know I was in the 19 series too, so I know a lot of times on 19 Delta, some cavalry scouts, and they get the ass to do some crazy shit, and and like they just come back like, all right, they can get ready for tomorrow, you know? Right. Right. So yeah, you know, so salute to them, man. It, it, was, um, it wasn't very expensive. I think it was like thirty one dollars. Okay. Yeah, like thirty one, thirty thirty one, right around there. Okay. So yeah. I, yeah. Price point, I can I can roll with that. Yeah, for sure. All right, so on that note, uh, I'm actually going to, I don't know, I'm gonna give it a two. Uh, so I'm a, I'm I'm about a half a point behind you guys. Uh, I do, of course, always. I, I love the sweetness of uh, most bourbons, but I do like the caramel or vanilla sweetness rather than uh, like the candy kind of sweetness. Now, what I will say though that this is light enough. I know you guys said that you wanted to mix it, but this is light enough. For a seven day vacation in Miami, if I wake up early enough, oh yeah, for sure, I, I would definitely put this on some ice and mm-hmm. drink this as a as a morning breakfast. morning breakfast. Yeah. Exactly, you feel me? Like, your breakfast burp. 
Yeah, yeah, breakfast bourbon. There it is. I think that that can definitely do the thing yeah. there. Um, I am. I wanted it to be more because of the story. I have to be honest. Like I wanted it to be more. Um, again, I think we say this a lot. Maybe if we can get to 85, 90 ish, probably it'll be uh, a little a little better for me. But even still, though, it's going to have that candy sweet. So may, maybe not. Now I will say that the cigar did bring out the char in the end, so it makes it a little a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, as a mixer, I think yeah, definitely it'll be wonderful for an old fashioned or some type of a cocktail that you're making. So yeah. yeah. So on that note, man, shout out to uh, Four Spirits Distillery, man. Shout out to the story. If you're not hip to the story, make sure you Google them uh, and check out the story. It's definitely dope. And for the people in that region, I think you said it was uh, a Colorado West. Yeah, 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 yeah. West. Yeah. <laughs> they're uh, taking care of their veterans out there. So definitely dope story. And uh, the, they're donating some money and some time back to the community. So definitely a uh, shout out to Four Spirits Distillery. Yeah, this Oregon distilling, this, that whiskey scene. It's coming up. Yeah. Because yeah. I tasted a couple others from Oregon. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just, That's what's up. But as far as flavors, mm-hmm. uh, I like to try things outside of the, the normal region yeah, just so, so we can see because mm-hmm. they don't want to get stuck in the Kentucky Tennessee. You know, we, we should do some Japanese. Some Japanese we haven't done that. We should do that. Yeah. 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 For sure. yeah. And if you're checking us out right now, you know some Japanese whiskeys that you want us to try. Make sure you put it into the comments and we might try it next time. Yeah. All right. But uh, that's it. So we uh two point five so across the board except me I got a two point zero uh but I think it is a good mixture I think we all agree on that again we've got all got our own palate so we want to make sure that you check out Four Spirits Distillery for yourselves let us know what you think all right so the next time though you already know what it is man everybody loves BBW that's beers bourbon whiskey the podcast got my man Angry Principal in the building drink what you like how you like got my man Bo holding it down I say and of course man as your boy Q Lewis holding it down live. For the 48205, man. Peace out, brother.